reason to stay humble to Master Dalji. What is that one incident in our lives which defines everything, right from our birth to death? A very good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I was watching this series called Justice the other day, which made me think how we perceive ourselves and the people around us. Either after having a uh, 10 minute talk or just looking at them, we tend to categorize people into different groups or categories. Let's say intellectuals or not so intellectuals, achievers or non achievers, and so on. But while doing so, we tend to overlook a very important aspect of their life, which is how they are raised in, how are they, how they were raised in their family. Now let's try to understand it a little more. Let's say there are two individuals, they are born today, one into a family of officers in Delhi and another one into a laborer's family in Bihar. So what do you think? Uh, where will they end up? Any guess? Chances are very high that one of them will go on to become an asset for the society and the other one ends up being a laborer for the rest of his life. So what was that one incident which made their life so different? Isn't it the accident of birth which they had no control over? And for that matter, none of us has either. So is it right when we say that I am self-made or we are self-made and we have achieved so much in our life? Do we consider those factors which are out of our control? Because the the race we are running, although it seems like it starts equal for everybody, but it starts for from different points of time and from different points for different people. Besides, someone did a study on more than 100 prestigious colleges of the United States of America. And they tried to look into the family backgrounds of the students who could make into those colleges. What percentage of students do you guess could uh, come from the poor family? Any guess? 20. It's only 3% of the students who could make it into those colleges from poor family. And a large chunk of students, that is more than 75%, came from affluent families. So that is how vast the inequalities are. It doesn't end here. Once Therefore, it is very important to give everyone a fair start in terms of educational, financial and other amenities. But even if everyone is, has been given a fair start, the next thing is to make efforts to finish the race. But here also, there are so many factors which we can't even control. Let me ask one another question. How many of you sitting here are fast in birth order? Very few people. But against, against this notion, psychologists have found that the people who are first in birth order, they tend to be more hardworking, more, more, more hardworking, and they can accomplish a goal better than their siblings. So therefore, you can't decide in which family you will be born in, and you can't decide your birth order. <coughs> then can you really say that whatever you have achieved, or I have achieved, I have done it on my own, without any external factors. So it's high time that we should think that when there are so many factors which are out of our control, can we say that we are better at something than others? Doesn't it give us a good reason to be humble to everyone around us? Because each one of us is fighting his or her own battle. So I would finish it by saying that you, all of us need to look into this very fundamental question and try to find our own answers.
Merci. Merci.